Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another book review. This is on a newer book and this is called Chord Magic by Brandy Williams. So this was the final book given to me. Again, I'm not talking about taking up the runes because I'm still working through that book. So I obviously haven't read it cover to cover, but other than that one, these were all of the books that I was given for Yule this last year, so 2021. And this one my man had picked out because he knows that I love to incorporate magic into a lot of things, which includes my crochet projects, and he thought chord magic, you know, maybe it would include that. And it was just a title he was kind of intrigued with as well. And so he grabbed this one for me, and I wanted to tell you guys about it. So this book really is about the concept of using chords in your witchcraft. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's basically string magic is like the simplest way to explain it. Um, it's tying knots and um, just using different threads and dyes and things and stuff for a, a string of whatever material, um, whether it's synthetic or it's wool or cotton or whatever. Um, you take a piece of string and you incorporate magic into it. And this book has a few different rituals to do, and it talks a lot about just how materials are made, and different dyes and how they are made, and it really has a lot of information if this is something you're interested in. So this book, the only issue I really have with this is that I wish I had just a little bit more information. Now don't get me wrong, for a book just on chord magic, like, we have got a nice chunk of information, which is great. The only thing is that I wish this book had included other forms of how to do this. That's my only complaint. There was maybe total, like, maybe four paragraphs in this entire book about different techniques, opposed to just literally twisting yarn, which I still am not like thoroughly convinced isn't going to unravel. My child, like inner child brain is like arguing the logic because I swear I have played with string when I was little and if you twisted it, even if you knotted it, it would just bunch up. And I'm like, I just, my inner child tells me that's not going to work. I haven't tried it yet. It's not a form of magic I would be doing. I'm gonna modify all of these for the following. So, I like to crochet or braid, and I just, I wish there had been a little more on that. And there isn't that much information on cord magic and yarn magic anyways, so like definitely good start. I, maybe the author eventually will do a secondary book, which would be fantastic, about knitting and yarn and crochet and all of those things, even braiding. like. Oh, so close to having all the information out of this book. Just missed it by a smidge. So that's the only major thing I have is that I wish there was just a little bit more on different techniques opposed to just twisting the yarn. I also wish they had gone just a teeny bit more into like knot magic because it's not something you really understand terribly well. And so I actually have a different book that I just bought <laughs> because of course I did on specifically not magic so like I'm kind of thinking like do I combine these two books to get the information that I need so that will be coming soon but I just I wish there had been a little bit more she does touch on it just a smidge but again it's not a topic I know terribly well yet in my craft being a witch for so long doesn't mean you necessarily cover every single topic that's out there the point of witchcraft is to learn new things which for me 12 years into being a witch I decided to start learning about yarn and knot magic right now. And so, again, like this is such a good book if that's something you're interested in and you wanna start doing cord magic because there's many different ways that you can use this in your craft and she talks about that and it's awesome. And it is one that I really do enjoy. Again, I just, I wish there was a little bit more to it. And that's just because, again, I'm not a, a twisting yarn kind of a person but I can easily create a quick chain out of a yarn or braid a few of them together. I don't know how to knit, but I mean, I'm sure knitters out there would agree that it would be nice. I don't know how you start your stuff. I don't know how the foundations of the knitting goes, but still, I mean, I, you know, there's so many ways that you can incorporate that kind of a thing that I wish there was just a smidge bit more information. 
but the information that is in here is so good. Again, if you're really curious about a lot of the history of it and just history of yarn and string use in magic and in general and like human history, there's a lot of information in this book, so I definitely recommend you pick this up if this is a topic you're interested in. If you're just kind of dabbling into witchcraft in general, I don't know if this is like one you would necessarily want to pick up because it is like a very specific type of like magic that you're looking into. So if you don't really care about that, you're gonna be bored because that's all this book is. But if like me, you like to do different crafts and things with yarn and strings and whatever, and you just want simple little magical things you can do, this is a fabulous book, and I do hope the author will write more. I'm planning on, I think she has like one or two other books out, and I do plan on buying those soon as well, so we'll talk about those probably in the next year. But for now, the only other one that I've planned on purchasing is the Not Magic book, which I'm hoping, again, I can kind of combine what I learned from this one and that one into what I'll be using in my own craft. So, of course, if you want to come along for the extended discussion, that will be on Patreon, patreon.com slash nightwillowcrafts. So anyways, thank you so much for coming along for this book review. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this book down below. What did you love? What did you not? Who would you recommend this book to in the comments down below? And until next time, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to support me and all of my content, check out my Patreon. There's a bunch of content going up there all the time. I think I'm posting at least three or four times a week. Like there's a lot of stuff going up there. Surely there will be something that you would like. So make sure to check it out. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.